Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I am going to do a few of uh, strip down or uh, take the phone. I mean, take the this uh, power line uh, three forty uh, daisy apart. So you're gonna be doing this at your own risk. All you need to do is to have a flat head screwdriver. First of all, uh, I want to take out the mag magazine or cartridge. Just press here and then just release it. All right. This is the BB gun. Not the real gun, okay? For those of you that new to this channel. So the reason I put this up uh, so close is because I want to show you guys uh, step by step. So first of all, you want to remove those uh, two uh, flathead screws. And then on the other side as well. So let's go ahead and get started. And these are the metal screws. You want to put aside, make sure you don't lose it. Okay, this one is tricky, okay? Before you take apart, you might want to hold this because there's a spring. It's gonna push up to toward the plate. So just uh, lift it up. And then that's it. That is the cover. And you can just uh, put it aside. So once you remove this, uh, that plate, you gotta watch out for this uh, safety lock. So as you can see, there's a spring inside there. Make sure you don't lose that spring, okay? Just uh, lift it up gently. Oh, the spring just fall. So make sure this is a top, okay? And this is where the spring sits in at. So I gotta find that spring. And then uh, this one, you just uh, lift it up. This is a safety uh, trigger lock. Okay. So you do just uh, take this out. Let me try to uh, remove the the barrel. So to remove the barrel, you want to press this down. Okay. So you gotta give it a little push, or else you're not gonna unlock it. So push up, push this button up, and then you can turn this and then take out this uh, piece right here. Make sure the spring is uh, facing the front of the barrel, okay? And you don't wanna lose that, and put that away, and then take this out. And then now you could uh, remove the barrel on top by pushing uh, forward. And that's it, okay? So I gotta search for that spring somehow. Oh, there you go, it pops out. So this is the small spring that I was talking to you guys about. 
which is uh, I'm supposed to go inside here for the safety lock. Okay, like that. And this is how you push uh, up and down. So I'm going to put that aside. Okay, for this piece, it's kind of tricky. You have to tilt it like this first because there's a notch right here. Damn. Try to focus what you guys see. Yeah, there you go. You see the notch right here? And you gotta fit into that hole like that first. And then twist it to go in. It's kind of awkward, okay? So hopefully you don't scratch it and you just push this in like that. All right, guys. And to take it out, try not to force it too much. And then that's it. And let's move it on to the other side. So we are finished over here. So if you guys want to lubricate, you can put some... Uh, Rubicon oil over there in here. It's kind of hard to see, it's so black. Oh, where, where the trigger is at. With all the moving parts out, if you want to lubricate, you can do that. So let's uh, flip it on this side. And so I remove the two screws that's covering the the grip, your hand grip. Okay, then you want to make sure this piece, okay, this is where you allow you to trigger and put the back tab right here. So make sure uh, this one is not popping up, and then see, I just push down. So you want to remove the cover, just like that. See, as you can see, there's a lubricant right here, or grease, around the spring right here, and you don't want to pop up. So while you try to lift this up, you want to go ahead and then uh, try to hold this spring so it doesn't pop up and fly into your eyes or your face or your forehead and then uh, kill you. <laughs> right, guys? So try to push this down and then try to lift it up. Oh, there you go. And make sure the layout for the spring when you put it back. I'm going to flip this back so I can put the spring and then this piece right here. So if you want, you go ahead and lubricate right here, this spot, and then right here, where it So it's easier for you to trigger, pull the trigger, which is uh, right there. You can put some more lubricant right there if you want. And then uh, this trigger is hold down a pin right here, which is uh, they hammer it from uh, this side. So you want to go ahead. If you, I don't think I want to remove it. So if you really need to take it out, you could uh, use a, like a needle pin uh, tool to punch it from here and then out. Okay. And then there's a screw uh, holding the the whole uh, hardware right here for the rear trigger. So if you want to take it out, you could take it out at your own risk. 
but uh, I'm not going to take it out because uh, those are just uh, moving parts. All I need to do is just uh, lubricant right here, and that's about it. All right, guys. So I'm trying to attempt to put this back. So let's go ahead and get started then. So put it, to put it back, you're going to do the reverse order. Push this in. Make sure the trigger is into the hole. Connect it with the mechanism. Okay. And try to test, test it. Now you put the spring in. You want to go from the bottom first, like that. And then you want to pull this spring forward and then hopefully you'll sit in and uh, make sure you kind of press down the spring or hold it down so it doesn't shoot back on you. Okay, that's it. You want to go ahead and put that the grip cover back. Then you put back the screws. Make sure you push down straight. Or else it's gonna strip the the, the screw. Or the screw hole, okay? Make sure you push push down straight enough. If it's not going in uh, correctly, don't force it. And you don't want to tie it too much. I was going to crack the plate because it's, the plate is uh, made out of plastic. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this one in first for the safety uh, lock. This one, you got to go from the top down, okay? Jeez. So just like that. And you want to guide the hole right here on, the, on this side. And you want to push out back. So you can uh, push that uh, tiny uh, spring back in there into the groove. So hold on, there you go. Then you want to test out the button. All right, so you got to make sure you hold it. I was going to go out position, and you're going to re restart all over again. And remember this one. You got to face up first, and then uh, tilt it in the angle. Okay, so now it's set in. This is where the, you see that dot right there? That's uh, allow you to have that click. Which is, there's a notch right here. It allows you to lock into its place. And then you don't want it over tie this too much. Uh, this is going to be very hard to uh, lock and unlock. So same thing, make sure you just uh, screw in slowly and then straight down. You don't want to tilt it in a different angle and then uh, strip it. And you want to test out the lock, make sure it's not too tight. And then this uh, final screw right here. So 
don't know if you want to put the magazine there. You could do that. So to put it back in, you see there's a group right here. There's a little gap. You want to make sure you sit in here correctly, or you could, or you could put all the way from the front. But I'm going to put where the gap is. I'm going to slip that in, and then just pull it back. Okay. And you got to make sure you align the hole correctly, or else your this parts is not going to go in correct uh, properly. Okay. So make sure you go in. If it's not going pushing properly, you just want to jiggle it, move around a little bit, and then now you can insert it. All right. So now you insert the other side, and then uh, and then lock it up. That's it. You all finish. So now you can test this out. All right. So right now you're all set. So hopefully this will uh, help you guys uh, uh, on how to replicate uh, your parts. And this is how you take apart uh, the power line uh, Daisy uh, 340. This is a 0.177 caliber or 4.6 4 uh, millimeter BB gun. All right. So please uh, like the video and give a thumbs up. And then uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't do so yet. And share this with your friend on social media if they need to take apart their uh, Daisy uh, 340 to replicate their gun or to maintain it. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and then uh, see you guys on the next uh, video. Peace.